Hey there, I'm going to walk you through really quick how to create a social media post on in Canva for our Instagram and Facebook. So what we're going to do really quick is I'll share my screen with you and tuck that little guy over there. Okay, so I'm already in Canva. So what I did is I just went into Canva. You go to recommended for you, click on social media posts, and then I just do either a standard social media or an animated. Either one of them is great. So I already have that opened up in here. And so I just clicked on a real estate social graphic. So let's say that we are doing a new, um, a new listing. And so what I did is I went through, and actually this one is just back on the market. So let's go ahead, go ahead and do this one. Um, I'm gonna put the front picture up here. I've just uploaded these. So once you get the file of photos, from the photographer, you'll just take them and you can just drag and drop them into Canva. It works really pretty great. And so like our feature photo, I kind of like this one better. It just looks really good. Um, I don't know if I want the door in it. No, it looks pretty good. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drag and drop these in here. What's great about Canva is we can go through and we have everything branded. So you're gonna go through here I'm gonna pick your red colors. I'm gonna just go change all. It makes everything the correct color. And then we're gonna go through and select all that and go back on the market. Just do the simple life. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this white, but I wanna make sure that it fits our branding. So all of our branding is already put in here. And I'm gonna make this white. And I'm going to make this one Abriel fat face. It just looks really good that way. And then in here, I'm gonna go 11 Columbine Lane parachute, Colorado, and that's really it. Now, just because these two pieces of text are not quite big enough, I'm gonna make them a little bit bigger. And if you select too much on accident, you can always go back through and do that. Either way, that looks really good. We need to brand this one, make sure it lines up with all of our stuff. I do not, want it to be italicized. They moved it. Well, rats. Um, there it is. Okay, didn't move anything. I'm just crazy. Um, anyways, okay, so there's a social media post. It's quick, it's easy. Canva's really great about just having basic general templates that you can use and upload quickly, especially if you have lots of listings going on or lots of things going on. Um, I am going to shift this just a little bit because I do not like how it looks better. There's just a lot of flooring and I don't want nearly as much of that flooring in that picture. There we go, that's much better. Um, anyway, so that's really pretty easy how to do it. What you're gonna do now is you're just gonna go to download. I use a PNG, it's easy, it's good clarity. Um, so it's a high resolution one. So you're just gonna click download. Once you have it downloaded, then you can very easily, um, I either download it on my phone, Canva has an app, it's very easy to design it on the computer and then turn around and then just grab it on the app then I always post to Instagram first. Um, Instagram is in the passwords list if you need that. And then it is linked to our Facebook. So it will auto post um, over to Facebook for you. So you don't have to do both. You just have to do one. And um, then I also use hashtag expert, um, which is an app that helps you to be able to generate hashtags. Um, I also have a list in the drive of recommended hashtags. So hopefully that will help you some. And, um, but yeah, that's really just about it. So it's just a pretty simple, easy way to let you know how to do social media posts.